Whenever there's a big new graphics card released, there's always like a feeding frenzy as gamers try to get their hands on it so that they can blow away dudes in crisper detail and at higher resolutions than ever before. But while the performance of the graphics processor or GPU itself is often the most talked about aspect of a new card, the amount of video memory or VRAM on a card can have a big effect on just how high you can crank up your settings. But while GPUs or graphics processors have been updated and re-updated pretty regularly over the last few years, not much has happened with VRAM recently. We've had the same old GDDR5 memory hanging out on our cards for over seven years. But the next big thing in VRAM is finally here. I'm talking, of course, about high bandwidth memory, or HBM. So what exactly is it? How is it better than older VRAM technology? And most importantly, is it actually going to make a difference in your games? Well, just like any other type of VRAM, HBM performs functions like keeping rendered frames in storage in a frame buffer, no, not that kind, holding textures to make everything on screen look realistic, and storing crucial information for lighting and other effects. In short, it holds the information that your GPU needs to act upon to push an image to your monitor. But although HBM serves the same basic function as other types of VRAM, the way that it's actually implemented on your graphics card is very different. For starters, GDDR5 and its predecessors require DRAM chips attached to the PCB spread out around the processor. And the more memory you want and the higher speeds you want, the more chips you need to plunk on there, which combined with the traces for data and power to all those chips take up a lot of space on the card and increase manufacturing complexity and therefore cost. HBM solves these problems two ways. Number one, the VRAM is now directly attached to the GPU package, meaning that HBM requires no more space than what's already normally taken up by the GPU. Two, HBM uses 3D RAM dies that are stacked on top of each other and that communicate using tiny interconnects called through silicon vias or TSVs, which are called that since they physically go through all the stacked layers at once, kind of like a toothpick through a giant cluster sandwich. And while you can't eat HBM like you would a Monte Cristo, these changes have the potential to give you some positively delicious results while gaming. So the chips themselves have a much wider data interface. That combined with stacking the chips gives you these little, well, stacks that can move up to 256 gigabytes of data per second, which means that a graphics card with just four stacks of HBM could have memory throughput of a full terabyte of data per second, which will become increasingly important in the future as more and more non-gaming applications like Adobe Premiere, for example, start leveraging the graphics card for compute and as the resolutions that typical gamers want to run at increase, not to mention that there's things like multi multi-4K monitor setups that are becoming cheaper and more popular, all of which will be easier with more memory bandwidth. Okay then, Linus, so how do I hop on board this hype train? Well, HBM is only currently available on AMD's top-end Radeon R9 Fury series, but the rumor mill figures that NVIDIA's upcoming Pascal graphics cards will feature the technology, and as we all know, the high end today is the mainstream of tomorrow, so within a couple of years we should all be able to have enough memory bandwidth to choke a horse. Speaking of choking horses, or... Nope, not related to that at all. Dollar Shave Club! You can get razors and other bathroom supplies shipped directly to your door for only a few bucks a month. They've got their razor handles and blade combos all the way up to the like six blade executive. But with that said, they don't go overboard and kind of go, yeah, well this one's got like a rear view mirror and a vibrating handle that you can use for all kinds of, oh right, they also have other products like their One Wipe Charlies, peppermint scented butt wipes for men, their post-shave moisturizer, and their Dr. Carver shave butter, which goes on clear so you can actually see what you're doing. I mean, I guess it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? High quality razors and bathroom supplies directly to your door once a month for a few bucks a month. Visit dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus to join the club now. It's available in the US, Canada, and Australia. 
All right, so thanks for watching. Guys, if you liked the video, do that thing. If you disliked it, do the other thing. Don't forget to check out our other channels. Uh, we've got a great video up on Channel Superfun. It's like a, a pimp my ride type thing with my car, which as you guys all know, should be hilarious. Um, as always, leave comments under the video if you have suggestions for future Fastest Possibles. Don't forget to subscribe and follow and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.